Developing news tonight, Debbie is now officially a tropical storm and city of Charleston officials are holding a press conference now to discuss impacts and preparations here in the low country. Let's listen in. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us on such short notice. I'm Mayor William Cogswell, and I'm here to provide an update on what looks to be potentially severe weather that is heading our way. City staff has been working around the clock to prepare for this event, and we are grateful for their efforts. According to the latest forecast from the National Weather Service, there could be up to 18 inches of rainfall over the coming days, beginning as early as Sunday and potentially lasting through the week. This storm poses a real threat of dangerous and unpredictable flash flooding across our city. The city of Charleston has activated our active flood mitigation plan our emergency services, including the Charleston Police and Fire Departments, will be fully deployed starting Monday to enhance response efforts. We are strategically placing barricades on streets prone to flooding several hours before heavy rains and high tides begin on Monday. And sandbag distributions will be begin tomorrow at 7 a.m. for residents at designated locations across the city to help residents prepare to protect their properties. I urge all residents to take this warning seriously and take necessary precautions. Prepare yourself with food and drinking water as some roads may become impassable. Be prepared to move your vehicles to higher ground before the event on Monday to prevent potential loss and damage. And most importantly, stay informed through local media for the latest updates and follow the city of Charleston's official channels on social media for real-time information as we track this uh, dangerous front coming towards us. With that, I'm going to turn it over to Chief Walker for some more information. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, just to follow up on what the mayor has said, and I will be brief, really we want to make sure that we update our community as soon as possible. Um, I know a lot of people is not even paying attention to our local news media. We want them to stay in ahead of this. Please check your local news outlets and get the information that you need. Uh, from the police standpoint, we are upstaffing. We are making plans to... Um, close roles in the need if, if it's required, but we encourage everyone, if you don't have to be out, please don't be out. Um, and I will turn it over to Chief Curia. Thank you. Good evening. I just want to reiterate what's already been said. Now is the time to prepare for this storm. Don't wait until you are in the rain in order to start making these preparations. When the weather hits, to the best of your ability, stay inside. The fire department will be upstaffed with four high water vehicles. We'll have a, a robust upstaffing of our special operations division, and we're ready to make rescues. But these storms are dangerous to first responders also. The best way for us to keep our first responders safe is for you to take action now, to be prepared for the storm, and to not venture out in the storm. Thank you. Again, folks, uh, this may be much ado about nothing, but by all accounts, these forecasts uh, are very serious. So we are trying to be very proactive in this effort uh, and let everybody know the seriousness of what we're looking at. So we urge you to uh, pay attention, be prepared, and most importantly, be safe. Thank you. As far as sandbags go, I mean, how are they going to find out where the sandbags are and how many sandbags are available? Uh, I believe we have 40 to 50,000 uh, that are ready for deployment, and they will be uh, distributed at local distribution points. We will provide a map of where those distribution points are 
uh, on our social media platforms and send out a press release as well. Are you guys, I'm assuming, expecting flooding in areas that normally aren't the culprits that normally flood? Yes. Uh, again, what we have here is uh, a slow-moving storm that looks to be building up um, uh, in terms of the, the rainfall. So what the concern is is that it's going to sit over our city uh, for an extended period of time and provide, unfortunately, a lot of rain that, um, I mean, 18 inches is totally unprecedented. And while that's on the high side, half of that would be very problematic. Again, uh, you know, hopefully folks do have uh, a hurricane plan, and while this is not a hurricane, it is a tropical storm, it probably will remain such as it comes towards us. So, you know, put that plan into action. But most importantly, again, stay in tune, stay in touch, pay attention. Uh, I know it's a sunny day out right now, but uh, by all accounts and all models, this storm is coming our way with a lot of rain. So uh, it's time to prepare now. It's the weekend. We know people aren't paying as much attention, and that's why we felt it was urgent to get this message out now. Is there, are you, is there any concern that if this goes until Friday that this could really tax you guys as far as powering people out and you guys have enough to kind of rotate in, rotate out? Uh, we, we are preparing for all accounts. Um, this is going to be tough, and uh, I really want to compliment both the police and fire department for their determination and, frankly, for being prepared. I mean, they've uh, issued um, uh, no leave for all of their uh, 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 officers. So, you know, better, better being safe than sorry, for sure. All right. Thank you all very much. Thank Appreciate you all, you all uh, sending the message out.